got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I feel like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. We're live at the Prosper Show, and we are with Badass Beard Care. I love it. Greg, Charlie, and I want you to start about uh, talking about, you're saying samples. Yeah. That has worked like gangbusters for you guys. Yeah, so, We started out offering our free sample on our website, on uh, Facebook mostly, advertising there. And we're trying now, we just got on a Prime, and we want to offer that same free sample on Prime. So let's we'll talk about the products for a sec, because people don't know. Okay, so we sell men's grooming products, we specialize in beard care products. So we have beard oil, beard balm, uh, mustache wax, beard and body wash, men's multivitamins. And we're expanding now into a full men's line, so we have deodorant, regular body wash, we're coming out with a shaving line, it's a little bit of everything. So go back to the samples. So what's going on with the samples? So we're trying to get our samples onto Amazon Prime, and that way people don't have to pay for shipping at all. You know, if you have a Prime account, they get our sample without having to pay anything. And I think that by doing that, it's also going to help increase our uh, listings ranks, just because you know the more sales you have, the higher you go. So free product, I think, is going to really have really good uh, conversion rates, and should help out a lot. Is that hard to get on? Prime itself is not hard to get on, but trying to get an offer like a free sample onto Prime is difficult because we have multiple variations, and then so offering the variations and then a size variation has been uh, difficult to figure out how to do. Are people doing that now? I think if you have a certain type of account with Amazon, they allow you to do it, but you have to get on uh, what's called A-plus content, and then you have to format all of your listings, reformat everything to be part of that A-plus content to do it. So Greg, I want you to talk about some innovative stuff you have going on as far as the scents go. The okay. All right, so what's really cool is uh, we do have our standard scent line, uh, but we also do have a seasonal scent. Every three to four months we switch out. Uh, currently we have this scent called the Brewmaster, and it has the citrus notes of uh, craft beer. Craft beer is obviously a huge scene right now, so it's an amazing product. Uh, and basically every three to four months you can come back and check us out if you're used to our product line and uh, see something new. So how did you come up with that? Uh, that was interesting. So basically, uh, just the time of the year, uh, we kind of take a look at what you know what time of year it is, uh, find some scents that are really popular that make sense for what it is. Like for uh, Thanksgiving, we did a Pilgrim's, uh, the scent called the Pilgrim, and it had notes of uh, pumpkin spice, so really cool. Um, and then with this, uh, this scent particularly, we just kind of formulated some really uh, uh, craft beer that's really popular out there there's very citrusy notes to it so we decided to take some citrus notes that we liked out of our own like blue moons and things like that and uh, formulate something that way so I feel like that's a perfect blend long beards and beer yes. like go well together we what else goes well with long beards like what other scents you guys have uh, so, I mean, we have scents that's really cool. We work with a lot of local companies, too. Uh, we have our Royal Night, which is actually we uh, source from a local tea and coffee shop, Westwind uh, Coffee Roasters in Eldorado Hills, by the way. Uh, we get their Earl Grey tea leaves. We actually brew the tea leaves, and we, uh, through microfilters, actually uh, steep the tea leaves, and we uh, extract the oil from it, and we uh, scent the product with uh, Earl Grey tea and lavender. We also have one with coffee, because who doesn't like coffee waking up in the morning? So we actually brew coffee beans through filters again. Uh, we're able to get that oil into our product, and and it smells like a terrific coffee scent. So besides that, we have some great sweet scents, uh, some obviously woodsy scents for all those fans out there, some that smells like patchouli, uh, and the really earthy scent too. And then an awesome scent that we came out with as well recently is a natural insect repellent. So it has uh, really? citronella, grapefruit, and lemongrass, and it's worked out fantastic. Uh, we came back from a business trip in Australia. Uh, we got bit up a lot by mosquitoes. We put on the bushwhacker, and it actually was really effective at keeping back mosquitoes. So It's called uh, the bushwhacker? It's called the bushwhacker. So we try to do some really functional products as well. So not just good smell. I think you're onto something with yeah, that. Right. What are some other uses of that? Like, do you find like women want to put in their hair or something when they go camping? Like, what what are people using this for? Actually, the very first review we had of the bushwhacker was from her wife, who said that yeah, they were using pure DEET and all these different chemicals to try to keep the stuff off of her and the kids. And her husband used it, was using it in his beard, and he wasn't getting bit at all, and everyone else was getting eaten alive. So they started using the bushwhacker oil on their skin, and it worked. So yeah, the first the oh. first review of the bushwhacker was from a wife who used, used it. I knew own. that. Yeah. That's a, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. Nice work, guys. Yeah. So, international. You want to talk a little bit about the international yeah. component? Yeah. So, you know, up until now, we've been primarily U.S.-based. 
uh, based out of California, and just the best ship shipping rates have been to the U.S., so that's why the you know, majority of our orders are from here. Uh, but the goal is to expand into Australia, Europe, and Canada. Um, Australia, we're going to find an independent, um, I guess, shipping manager out there that's going to host all of our products, and then for Europe and Canada, we're going to Amazon Prime there. So look forward to being in, in Australia probably in the next four to six weeks, and then Canada within a few months after that, and then Europe just shortly after that. Cool. So two things. I want to find out what's a gold nugget you've gotten out of the Prosper Show so far, and then why you end up come. Why did you come to the Prosper Show? Okay. So uh, give us a gold nugget. Gold nugget. I guess it's been them teaching us exactly how Amazon ranks as far as how many consumers are searching Amazon versus Google. You know, some some pretty surprising numbers to find out that it's like. 43% of people that are searching for products are searching on Amazon, right. and then... And those are buyers. Yeah, and those are all buyers, and they specifically targeted, they, they want to buy something. They're not, they're not searching, you know, beard care or, or beards and trying to find a picture of a beard. They're searching beards and trying to find products for beards. So it's much more relevant tar target as well. Are certain things people should be doing to rank that you've learned? Um, they talked a lot about the different S uh, SEO on Amazon and, and how to rank. Uh, more specifically, they're talking about how to advertise on Amazon, you know, but... Like sponsored ads? Yeah, sp sponsored ads and, and getting that all together, but I think that they've talked a little bit about how to rank better, and a lot of it comes down to just getting the product out there, visible, and selling, and it's kind of like a catalyst effect that once you start selling products, you start getting higher in the rankings. The higher rankings you go, the more products you sell, and it just feeds itself. Yeah. So you just have to kind of take that first leap and get the sale going and, and get your products sold to, to get higher in the listings. Greg, what about you? What's uh, some... A gold nugget tip that you've gotten so far? Yeah, so, so definitely with the advertising, that's a really big thing for obvious reasons. Uh, we started really big on Facebook and Google AdWords, so coming here and learning Amazon and how it kind of functions as far as marketing goes. Uh, keywords, something I wasn't thinking about was negative keywords. You kind of just think, oh, what are the positives and go off of that. So that was a really uh, gold nugget for me was taking that back, like, hey, I got to check my negative words to make sure that that's not hurting my, my advertising. So another good help. I want to get technical for a second with the sure. negative keywords. So. Have you found, well, how, do you, how are you supposed to find negative keywords? Should you find the ones that you're using on Amazon sponsored ads already that are not, not converting at all? Or how should you choose the negative keywords? Well, and that, that's kind of what it is. Uh, key thing is to look in your search term report is what we, we were told. Um, that that's a really good key uh, uh, report that you can use to actually find out what uh, keywords you're seeing that are actually being effective versus ones that are, aren't, aren't performing as well as you are and you're basically wasting your money on those. Right. So that's kind of the big help. So the search term report would be the place I'd go to. I now know to go to to really find out for those keywords yeah. what's good, what's bad. And is there recommended to use a broad or exact phrase for that? See, it, uh, and that's tough. They, the key thing they were saying too is test things out and do it incrementally, not do a big jump. They said it may take about, you know, could be a day or so. So do like five, 10% increments on what, you know, what you're actually investing into the keywords uh, or for your campaigns in general. And you'll see it, uh, it may be a slow process, so just don't jump just because you see, you may see some fluctuation. Give it some time to really see it play out and see how effective it is. So, nice. so why did you guys, why did you come to the Prosper Show? Uh, I came to the size I told you so. <laughs> That's funny uh, because you, you did tell us so. <laughs> But uh, we wanted to just learn more about Amazon. Uh, there's a lot of things we don't know and a lot of things we don't have time to do. So meeting all these different vendors that, that have the opportunity to talk to us without you know, scheduling a million different phone calls, we can kind of pick and choose. Uh, this has been really great. And then learning more specifically about, about the different Amazon platform and, and how to use it more effectively has been great. And then I'm really hoping at some point to talk to an Amazon person uh, that can help us walk through how to get our free samples on there and how to do that most effectively too. Right. Because yeah, I think, I think talking in person, they can really see that you know, we might not be a, a giant seller right now, but we have the opportunity to, that if we can show them what we've done on our main site, to see what we can do on Amazon with that free sample, I think it'd be good. Yeah. Greg, why'd you come? Uh, that's a big thing. I think advertising is a very big key component. We haven't pushed Amazon very much, so for me, it was much more of the advertising side. Facebook has been, you know, great for us, and other, you know, Google. Uh, but we certainly want to push with Amazon. Like Charlie's pointing out, the free sample we feel is a really great way to get a lot of new consumers and get our ranks up there too. So figuring out how to get that and really get a solid campaign behind it. Yeah. So last question. On a personal note, I always like to ask a personal question. Um, so a bucket list item. A bucket list item that. Something you want to do in your lifetime, something you want to see in your lifetime. What's a bucket list item that you have? Hmm, that is a great question. <laughs> Who wants to go first? 
Well, I mean, I kind of can. I mean, one of my bucket list items was uh, obviously we've talked about different demographics where markets are that are really good for us. And like Charlie mentioned, doing Australia, uh, Europe, and Canada. Uh, just so you go really visit there. I would love to go see Europe. I mean, obviously the people there are wonderful, but actually just, you know, just the culture, the history, and taking that into with it. But obviously for business as well, seeing where we really fit in there. So for my bucket list, I'd say certainly traveling the globe and uh, seeing the world for sure. Very cool. What about you, Charlie? What's I'm s similar. I want to go backpacking through Europe and then uh, also Thailand. I've wanted to do it since I was in the military, and I was planning on doing it uh, when I got out because I had two months of paid time off when I got out. But uh, I started the business while I was still in and took off faster than expected. So I've been devoting you know, pretty much 24 hours a day, seven days a week to the business this whole last two and a half years. So yeah, definitely getting out there and taking some time off and, and seeing the other cultures and even spreading the awareness about our products. So where should people check out online? Uh, you can go to badassbeardcare.com if you want to check out the free sample. It's badassbeardcare.com slash free dash sample. Um, you can also check out badassbeardclub.com for recurring subscription orders where you get big discounts. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.